some of the greatest music ever, and it came from Motown. Huge stars. We're talking about Diana Ross, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. Motown the Musical really tells the story of founder Barry Gordy and the many musicians that he discovered. The show's at the Pantages in Hollywood right now. Actor Jaron Muse is here, and he plays Marvin Gaye. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was there on opening night with Juan. Just unbelievable. It's, it's not just a musical. This is, I think they talk about it being a movement, right? It really is. It really is. And especially with um, everything that's going on in the world today, it's, it's so relevant. The story is relevant. And the message of unity is so powerful. And, you know, just what Mr. Gordy did, what his vision was, and how it's affecting everybody. It's amazing. Yeah, so this is a story. Take us back. It's about 50 years ago, and mm -hmm. Barry Gordy is starting uh, the Motown Record Group right. and starts discovering all these actors. And as we see the show, as the story unfolds, all of these actors come out and do their, their most famous numbers. So these, this is all music that really we have is. heard of and grown up with. Yes, and it, it doesn't matter which generation you're a part of, you know the Motown music. It's like the fabric that America was just woven and created into. I, I love that growing up, I always listened to Motown music. It was in the doctor's office on the elevators. Uh, the whole music, if you're, you know, uh, waiting for uh, whoever <laughs> but um, it's just the music is so in your body you don't even realize it until you get there and you're like I know that song I know that and there are not a lot of shows like that and there's not there's not a lot of dialogue in this either I mean it's woven together so beautifully let's talk about that song uh, you are sort of um I don't know. You're the activist in the group, right? Yes. Out of all these talented musicians, you're the one who stands up. Absolutely. And you have a scene where you go up against Barry Gordy. Mm hmm And mm -hmm. you sing what's going on. And I think everybody in the audience that night felt, felt it because this is a song that was originally uh, based on police brutality. Right. And we're talking about uh, every day we're right. saying now what's going on right. what's going on with our country and it's it's kind of um, it's it's for me it's sad to know when the song was recorded and to sing the words sing those lyrics today in 2017 and for them to be as relevant as they are you know um, but at the same time I just hope that it will continue to give people hope that we can just think about how we can change things and just come together and just, you know, work together to be just one, just like Mr. Gordy wanted. It wasn't just about specific races. It was just about everyone working together and really trying, trying to coexist happily, yeah. peacefully. And at the same time, the musical is by, even though there are these activist moments, mm -hmm. it's, it's in no uh, way... Uh, a very uh, important political statement. It's right, more about right. the music, it and really there is. are some beautiful moments uh, yes. when Diana comes into the audience and, uh, and she does that scene reach out reach and out touch and somebody's touch. hand. That's right. And everybody in the audience is holding hands mm -hmm. and singing together. And let's be honest, this is a racially diverse audience. Right. It really is, especially out here in Hollywood. And no matter what, every single night, the audience join hands, whether they know the people next to them or not, and they reach out and touch. And it's that moment of unity that is just so beautiful and powerful. And it, and it makes all of us on stage emotional because despite what's going on out there in the world, you can come in and just experience this magical story and forget about it all for a little bit and just enjoy yourself. And that's what Mr. Gordy wanted. That's why he started Motown. He wanted to create music not just for a specific race, but for everybody to just move in the seats together right. and just move your body and have and fun. And we were. Yeah, you were. Let's talk about opening night. Barry Gordy oh. came up on stage. We have a, a, a video. I know I broke the rules, but I took <laughs> took out my cell phone and had a little oh, video clip. Yeah. And Barry Gordy up on stage, Smokey oh, Robinson Smokey came Robinson. up. What was that like for you to it share the was, stage with them? It was incredible. And you know, I, I think the reason why it was so powerful and why um, why it, it hits me so hard is because <clears throat> those are the legends and we're telling their story and then they come and they see what we're doing and they're so proud mm -hmm. and they're so supportive and they've brought us into the Motown family and they've told us that we are the reason that Motown is continuing, the legacy continues and we're the new generation of Motown and to have their blessings and just to have their, like I said, support, um, it, 
it's it's powerful and it, it's it's I can't really describe the feeling because it, I can't describe it either. You oh just have gosh. to go see the it, show. You really right? do. It's electric. It, it really so is. It's beautiful to be there. Thank yeah, you, Jaron. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, more information about tickets to Motown the musical. It's at the Pantages right now, but only for two weeks, right? Yeah. Got a week two and a half weeks. left in the run. Just uh, go to KCAL9.com. You can click scene on TV. One.